Okay, in this video I want to show you how to replace a, a bad battery in a MacBook Pro. It's pretty easy to do, believe it or not. Um, it should just take you a few minutes to do. And this will, like I said, this will work for any MacBook Pro, whether that be 2009, 2013, 2014. It should work with any model. You know, the battery, this is what a, a, a battery looks like. Um, so, uh, very easy to do. I'll show you a good place to buy uh, a used battery, even brand new if you'd like. Um, let's go ahead and open this MacBook Pro up. This is a 2011 i5 processor. As you can see, when you plug it in, it'll turn it'll turn green, and as it'll turn orange if it indicates it needs the battery replaced. So you can see here the battery on this one is at least taking a charge. Now there's going to be a few indicators uh, that tell you the health of your battery and the cycle. Um, and we'll get, we'll get into that in a second. So let's go ahead and power this on. And we'll examine the health of this battery. And of course you'll be able to tell, you know, how long you have it unplugged, how many hours it lasts. You know, you might have one that only lasts 20 minutes, so that'd be a good time to to change out your battery. So the only two tools that you're need, going to need, you're going to need a Phillips head screwdriver, small Phillips head, and you're going to need it's called a, a tri-wing um, battery, um, a little tri-wing, tri tri-wing tri screwdriver, and literally you can get these on eBay for as low as a buck. Okay, so we bring it up here. What you're going to want to do is put your cursor over the battery and hit the left button, mouse button once. Okay, it's going to say this one in particular says 48 minutes until it's completely full. Now, right now it says power source power adapter. Let's unplug it. And what's going to happen is, is if the battery needs to be replaced, it'll it'll say either service battery or it'll say replace soon. Uh, if it says replace now, um, then you'll need to replace the battery because actually if your battery is bad, it'll actually reduce your processing speed and your productivity. So you want to go ahead and do it. But it should have an indicator. The second indicator is how many cycles it has. Cycles basically shows the strength of your battery on your MacBook Pro. And to do that, what you're going to want to do is you want to, want to click the Apple icon on the, the upper left. You want to go about this Mac. Left click that. Alright, and then here about this Mac, you're going to click on More Info. Alright, that shows the year and all that good stuff. And then what you're going to do from there, you're going to go to um, you're going to go to, let's see here, system report. Okay. It's going to show how much memory you have, the processor speed, and all that good sh stuff. So, what we're going to do now is, let's see here. go to power okay power will be listed under your uh, hardware so power you go under um, let's see here cycle count is 792 and condition it'll say this one says normal so this is a good battery uh, that is listed under your health information if it's lower than 500, you might want to consider replacing it. If it's 1 or 200, definitely replace it. Because like I said, it will reduce your performance. A uh, brand new battery's got 1,000. Okay. 
So that's how to find out if you need a battery, a new battery. So let's go ahead and power it down and replace the battery. And you want to make sure it's unplugged. Now you're going to have a total of 10 screws that's fastening your the back of your, your back panel on the back of your uh, MacBook Pro. And I went ahead and t took out most of them just for speediness. And uh, the top three is going to be the longer ones and you will need to put those exactly where they were before. That's one of the longer screws. Okay. Now, uh, this is of course the battery. What you're going to want to do is pull this tab off the logic board right here. And then you're going to use your tri-wing screwdriver to take these out. Now, you could technically might get a small flathead like this to get it out. Uh, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it. If it'll come out that way, that's cool. But, like I said, you can get them on eBay for a buck. So there's going to be two screws holding it in. Wrong one. <laughs> And then there's a piece of tape there that'll pop up. And there you go. You just pull it out. Now there will be a model number on the front of it. That's the model number of the battery, not the computer. So this particular one says A1322. You can't read that here. But A1322. Okay, and what that'll do is um, what that what what you're gonna do with that number is you wanna plug that into eBay. You go to eBay or Amazon, type that in, and then put battery. And then you can go to buy it now, Lowe's first. Uh, you can type in genuine, which would mean a genuine MacBook battery, and then A1322 or whatever you, whatever your model number of your battery is. You want to make sure you get your model number. Um, the difference between genuine and like if you get like a new aftermarket one, of course it's going to be a lot cheaper if you get the aftermarket. Um, there have been issues with aftermarket chargers coming from manufacturers out of China that's not Apple related uh, where they've caught on fire and everything. I haven't heard anything too too bad about the um, the batteries that are aftermarket. I have seen some that have blown up, not blown up physically but puffed up. So I don't think they're as good quality. I'd recommend getting the genuine. Uh, and to do that just type in genuine MacBook battery a, or genuine A1322 battery. Uh, I got I got this one here. I got that one for 22 bucks on eBay, and that includes shipping. And as you can see, it had uh, almost 800 cycles, so it was a, it was a, still a real good battery. Um, so I'll leave that to your discretion. Uh, okay, I'll show you here real quick um, how to find your battery. Uh, again, your model number should be like A is an apple and like four numbers. So just look on the back of your on the back of your Apple um, battery. So let's say what we'll type in here. Let's say the back of your your battery says A1322. So what you want to do is go on eBay or Amazon, but I'm on eBay right now, and just type in battery. Okay, and then you could see here. You could choose right here. It'll say best match ending soonest. So what you want to want to do here is you're going to go with um, lowest first because of course you're going to want to get the cheapest as you can and then you're going to go right here at buy it now not auction alright so we can see here um, some batteries now this one here you can't see it because of the screen but it says as is uh, of course you're going to want to stay away from that so we'll go ahead and scroll down here replace soon you're going to want to stay away from. Untested, of course, stay away from. 
Uh, let's see. This one says new. Or actually, they're saying it's new, but it says used here. So fourteen ninety nine plus shipping, so it's twenty bucks. Um, pulled, but then it says parts only sold as is. So you want to stay away from that. Here's another one. It says used working, and then we'll go down here in the description. Original, genuine, 2009 to 2012 Apple MacBook battery. Capacity 81 to 84 percent. Um, and then, of course, the price is 20 bucks. I would I would get that one immediately. I would even look to any anywhere else. And the rigid, the reason is is because it says genuine. Um, I would like I said I would go go with that as for, you know as opposed to an aftermarket one. Um, and it should take you know anywhere from three to five days to get to you. If you want to narrow your search a little bit more, uh, you could say genuine. Okay. And of course, the one that we want pops up, you know, closer. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.